Hey guys, I am Daisho and I am here playing some magic and today I'm going to get you some strength of stone. I've been working on my spreadsheet a lot. I'm not really going to give you any details on it. I'm going to leave you guys in suspense until I get enough data, which might not be a while. I mean, it might be for uh, it might take a really really long time. I am at 91 games played and I'm kind of thinking like 13, 1400 games played is where I want to be, so that'll be at least a couple of weeks. I've been working on this for three or four days. I don't know, maybe Modern Warfare 3, I'm going to run out of steam and want to slow down with the uh, production or playing of Magic, really. Got another rock slide. Elemental, that never hurts, because then if I, they kill one of them, the other one gets bigger. I don't mind. I would rather have gone first this game since I don't have a play until turn three. And that's, so those situations I always want to go first, but anyway, the spreadsheet's working out interestingly there's there's a, there's a lot of situations where it's just a little bit weirder and not as happy as as I would hope um, especially with grave whispers I think I, I have a very very low winning percentage with grave whispers and I would definitely like that to be a little higher but anyway let's talk about this matchup I'm playing strength of stone he's playing machinations this this deck really isn't bad against that one it's not, it's not like amazing, but it does have a couple of guys who destroy artifacts and I don't know, It's it's got some mass removal which is sometimes useful because they've sometimes played as a really aggro deck. So it could work pretty well. And uh, the guy's got a Strix and also a Snapstone Glider. So he is uh, pretty much good. Molten Ravager is nice, but I'm gonna play this dude and he's probably just gonna swing in for four next turn. But then I could, pl I think I'll just play my second rock slide next turn. And then I guess the turn after I could play Molten Ravager and Volcanic Strength. That'll be a, a nice little combo there. But he's probably going to play his dude first. No, it doesn't really matter because he could still swing in with the, the Snapstone Glider and it would kill me. So I definitely wouldn't block there. So, but he is going to play the other Snapstone Glider first main phase. So uh, now it's one of those situations where I'm kind of hoping I'd draw into like Earthquake. Oh, Earthquake wouldn't do anything. Never mind. Maybe like a Cerebral Eruption or something. I don't really know. But he's got a bunch of flyers, and uh, that deck is kind of scary when it gets all its flyers up and whatnot. I, ho I wish I had like a Windstorm or something. But yeah, there we go. Got some more land. Land all day. And obviously not going to swing in here. Well, I guess it's not that obvious. I might want to swing in because then my other dude would get bigger. But that doesn't really make any sense. But, I mean, <laughs> if those guys weren't flying, then I would be fine. But right now, I am not doing too well. This is definitely, it's not looking like this is going to be a die show victory, because I'm already down to eight, and I have nothing really in my hand to deal with his flyers. The best I can do is Spire Barrage one of them, and even doing Edge Champion. <laughs> Insult to Anjare. All right, so I don't think that there's, I mean, I could survive one more turn. I'll Spire Barrage his guy, cause Courier here. Not really that useful. I'll Spire Barrage creatures. You um, had to do it to a creature, and now I'm just gonna swing in for four. And if I draw another Spitting Earth, and I can now there's there's literally nothing I can do here to win this game. I don't think, um, except like Cerebral Eruption. I don't know. I don't even know if Cerebral Eruption would work because. It really depends, because, oh, he, he does have that guy. Yeah, whatever. So, I still swing in, do two damage to him. It didn't matter. This game was for sure not going to go in my favor already. And uh, that was just <laughs> that was just a mistake. I didn't even I didn't even see that one coming. This dude is, is very protected. He's got protection from all colors. And he's probably just going to swing in with two guys, right? Oh, no, he's going to swing with everybody. <laughs> it didn't really make a difference. He's probably also got a... Well, he might he might not have a Stoker Bottle in hand. But he could have a Stoker Bottle in hand, which would kind of just be hilarious. Um, all right, another Snap Cell Glider. But I don't think that there's much I can do. I don't even know if there's any card in my deck that can save me. But if it is, it's definitely not Spike Shot Elder. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I just play that, and then I give my guys some strength volcanically, and then you may as well throw the uh, the spike shadow there out there. Why not empty my hand? And the next turn I would have been able to play Molten Ravager, and I would have gotten to play everyone. But doesn't look like that is going to be the case. It was really just because he got off to a way faster start than me. Um, he played Strix turn two, and then this guy turned three. And then he was off to the races. He just swung in unblockable with two, three. E this turn is going to be four. 
guys who I couldn't even do anything about. So usually I do like this matchup, but I guess if they get all their flyers out early, then it really doesn't work. So I, I think this guy's going to play the same deck, so I will keep playing the same deck too, and we'll see you next game. See you guys. Bye. Hey guys, I am Daisho, and I am back, and hopefully... This game will turn out a little better than the next game. I'm running the matchup back. I don't know if my opponent is also using machinations, but I would think that he wouldn't switch. Nothing really would give me the idea that he's a switcher. He seems to be a stayer, and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I'm right, but you never know. Anyway, let's see how this hand is. This hand is pretty garbage. No creatures. And this one only has one land. He plays first. And I have a couple of plays. I have a guy. Eh, this is not the worst hand I've ever kept. And I don't really want to go down to the 6. But, I mean, there's always a possibility that I don't draw any lands. And then that's a bad situation. But land! Yes. And that's really all I need. I mean, I, I definitely want a third and then eventually a fifth land. But for now, two lands will be okay. Not the worst situation in the world. Plus, I have Spitting Earth, so I can actually kill his Steel Overseer or Ethereum Sculptor, whichever one he lays this turn, or Dot Holostrix if he decides to play that, and be happy. I could also Steel Overseer. Perfect. I will definitely uh, Spitting Earth him. Hello, Glame. I will Spitting Earth you, not you, Glame. There we go. That's that's that Daisho drawing skills. But yes, kill that guy. He's Oh, sad face. What are you trying to pause? Are you trying to tap your guy and make him stronger? He's still not strong enough to survive the power of spitting earth. Earth spitting up at your face. Scary sight right there. I'm, I'm not sure what to do next turn. I don't know which is the right play, whether or not I play Dark Steel Axe and Equip or Volcanic Strength. Well, definitely not Volcanic Strength, but I could either play Dark Steel Axe and Equip or Cost Courier. If he plays a guy... I don't know. Plays Ethereum Sculptor. So if I play Dark Steel Axe and Equip, then I'm getting him for three because there is almost no chance that he blocks that. I don't think, at least. Then he's going to be at 16, and he's still got four. Ooh, Rock Slide Elemental is pretty tempting, but I don't think I don't think that's necessary. I think I'm just going to play this Dark Steel Axe and Equip. That way I get him for three, and I already have the guy out. I don't know, maybe it would have been smarter to have the 2-3 out, because then if I throw the uh, Dark Seal Ox on him the turn after, then it's a 4-3. But yeah, there's absolutely no chance he's blocking there. And it's too bad that he doesn't have Mountains or Forests. He has all the other cards, because this guy's got Forest Walk. This is a uh, little sword, but this has Mountain Walk, so... I don't know. Alright, so he's just going to play everything second main phase. I don't know why I just said second that way. That was kind of weird. Do I do that kind of thing all the time? Probably. You guys probably think I'm crazy. I'm kind of crazy. I'm not really a normal person. But <laughs> I think I'm going to play... Oh, he's going to. he's got another play for me. One more play? Nope. Just uh, another land, though. And... Oh, wow. More land for the dice. Okay, so he's just going to sack that and make... Some searching, he's making choices. I will play land, rock slide elemental, because now there is, I think, pretty limited chance that he's actually going to block and make my other dude bigger. And I get to swing in, so I show happy. Oh, he is going to block. What? That was a really bad. I don't know. I don't know his hand. He might have a go for the throat, and if he has a go for the throat, then. Uh, the end of the situation is that he has a guy and I don't, and his guy benefits him and I don't, but uh, I don't know about that. So I don't think I'm going to e spend my mana next turn to equip my dude up, unless I have to, to swing in, because he does have five lands. Dark Steel Plate. Okay, so I guess he was basically saying, all right, I don't really have to worry about Rock Slide because I can always use my Ethereum Sculptor to protect it. So that's an interesting situation. I'm not really sure what I can do about that. I think I just have to um, get some more creatures out there and just out-guy him, I guess. And Because cause he's always going to be able to block at least one dude from now until the end of the game. So, uh, unless, unless, yeah, like, unless it's Spike Shot, I guess I could... I could use his power and toughness and stuff, but I, I'm, I'm still not, I'm not in bad shape. I got these two guys, unless he uh, plays a guy named Wormy the Coil, Coily the Engine, 
even worm coil engine wouldn't be such a big deal because rock style elemental could uh pretty much block him all right what is going on here um he could what could he have what does he have in that deck that could help him he could just have a damnation and he's just going to use it end of the turn why wouldn't he use it at the beginning of the turn um he could have go for the throat and just kill my creature anyway or he could just be i don't understand i'm just going to double block because i really don't think that there's anything that he can do about it um and i mean i know his creature doesn't die but now all right what what's he going to do Hopefully he takes the dark steel plate off. He, ah, sorry, bro. That is that is just too bad. All right. Um. Now what can we do here? I can equip this to uh this one. If I do that, or, or I can equip it to this one, and so then I'm gonna be able to get in for two no matter what because if he blo or I just don't lose a creature like if he blocks my creature then I swing in for six and then I'm happy and if he doesn't block my creature it, it, uh, all right so yeah so he blocks rock slide I still swing in for two and I oh I do die die show why are you so dumb sometimes it's that was that was ugh, that was that was unacceptably bad wow okay well at least I'm holding eight damage in my hand but that Tide Hollow Strix is nuts. I don't really think there's anything I can do about him. Um, that was really bad. I thought since my dude had... F I don't know why I was thinking that since my dude had first strike, he wouldn't really uh, be bothered by my opponent. But he was. So <laughs> I'm obviously not going to swing in here anymore. That was really annoying. If I still had the 5-5 five, five first strike, I would be a lot happier. But Dark Steel Plate and my boy Strix good combination it could basically since he's a death touch flyer he can basically kill anyone and still not die so that's pretty amazing what like what does my deck have that can even deal with indestructibility i don't i don't even know but um that guy is going to be a 3-3 and i have a couple options for taking him out I, i'll just spitting earth him i suppose um but i don't really know where this game is going it's just like whoever i guess if i get another creature no i don't even know i just need to if i get another spit aspire brush i guess because now i'm holding six nine damage so if i get another spire brush then that's enough damage to win the game but he i mean he could draw into worm coil at any turn so not looking forward to that um etched champion isn't fun especially since he's got three uh three of those out so he just really has to swing in with that guy until the end of the game I got a Cerebral Eruption, but that won't even hurt either of his guys that are on the battlefield right now. But I don't have anything else to do with my mana, so I may as well use it. <laughs> uh, get some damage off on him. Maybe I'll get, like, a big creature or something like that. What are you doing? Cancel it. Do it. Do it. Stoke Rebuttal right now. I dare you. Fucking dare you. Fucking dare you. It can't even kill any of your creatures. Would make no sense. Absolutely none. Go for it. Go for the Stoic Rebuttal. I am proud of you, sir. That was a really bad play. I mean, I made a bad play playing it. Like, I probably should have just kept it for the future. But I, I mean, the the biggest downside to that is it wastes a turn. But I didn't, I, like, I didn't even have a turn to waste. So I just wanted to get some damage off on him. But, I mean, it's still, it's still like a, a nine turn clock. So I'm destined, I mean, I'm bound to draw some more direct damage. I could also draw Stuffy Doll. That'd be pretty nice. Um... It's an artifact, so it can actually block that dude. But lands are, are also helpful because a land means that this does more damage, this guy. So that's also helpful. And Slagstorm, I can either choose to do damage, kill my creature and nobody else because that freaking <sighs> Dark Steel Plate. That actually, I mean, that works out so well in the deck sometimes. But I could really use a stuffy doll right now. That would very much benefit me. He's drawing lands just as much as I am, but I don't really mind drawing the lands too much. That's that's eight damage, so he can be down to six life. So if I just draw another creature, um, uh, like if I draw Molten Ravager and play vol Volcanic Strength on this guy, then I can swing in the next turn, and then that that would be six damage from him, and that's all I really need because six plus eight is enough. So I could definitely potentially win this game, but 
it's not looking great right now. Let's just put it that way. I am at 13 life. I kind of don't want to go under 3 because then Slagstorm will kill me. But that might be what I have to do. Like, I can do 11 damage to him next turn. I just need some more. He's got two cards in hand. Okay. That guy is powerful. Um, what does he do? Does he gain you life? Because that, that kind of sucks. Alright, I got Flowstone. That is very, 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 very good. Um, I play him. And then... Alright, I can do this, guys. Maybe I shouldn't have played him this turn. Maybe I should have Spire Barraged his guy. That's that's a mistake. Should have Spire Barraged his dude. Um, but I could kill so much next turn. Okay, so next turn I'm just going to kill his um, his Tide Hollow Strix. And hopefully he doesn't play another, um, another artifact spell. I hope he doesn't even realize that I can kill his dude. Is he really? Oh, I thought he was going to hold back with that guy. All right, so now I take eight, and I go down to five. Not great. Um, not the worst situation ever. Not the best. Um, and he's got another stone golem, but that guy's not really a big deal because I could kill him rather easily. All right, pause. I will use this ability to massacre you. And um, his, his guy dies because his toughness goes down to zero. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. I lose three life because of that. Um, I need to draw a land. No, that won't even help. Another slag storm? Wow. All right. So what can I do? What can I do to win this game? Um, I have a bunch of shit in my hand. I, can, I have eight swinging power. Um, if he doesn't block, I have eight swinging power. If he doesn't block, then I can deal eight damage to him and then win the game with, I mean, tie with a slag storm. And that's really the only thing that I can do right now. Um, is there any other options I have? I can kill, I can spire barrage his. I can Spire Barrage his dude, and there's no way I can kill his... Alright, let's do this. Because if he blocks, then I can Spire Barrage his Sphinx, and then Slag Storm and kill his 2-2. Two -two. I, I mean, obviously both my creatures would die, but that's only if he blocks. Hopefully he won't block. I don't know why he wouldn't block in this situation, but hopefully he won't block. Because then... Alright, he's going to block... So both of our creatures die, but I can clear the board right now, because I can creatures you, unless he's got a Stoic Rebuttal, and then um, I can just Slagstorm, deal three damage to each creature, everyone's off the board, we're top decking, and uh, don't like my chances, but at least I managed to make it out of that situation alive, that definitely took some uh, thinking there and this is annoying because he's just gonna equip it with dark steel plate and I really want my flowstone overseer back but alas that is not really how the game works I also would like I don't even know cerebral eruption would be nice but I mean I could potentially kill him next turn depending on I mean I would have to get a really really lucky draws but if I draw like spike shot elder and spike shot elder and then another spire barrage that would do it I think but I don't know let's see maybe spike child or claws of Valkut um, that guy is not good enough because everyone on the freaking field is indestructible so, but um, I can still do this and obviously I can't kill him because he's indestructible and then this and I mean at least I can block his guy so that's not bad um, alright, so now I am a 7-5, and he's not going to swing in next turn, so that's not really something to worry about, but let's see what he's got for me. Hopefully he's just like more land. Like, I, I just have to outdraw him for the rest of the game if I want to win this one. It would be a crazy game if I actually managed to win. I did, I got really, really lucky earlier with that whole thing. I, I, I mean, I was playing for the draw earlier, but now maybe I can actually win this game. 
Do have another Slag Storm. Slag Storm is a boss card. It really is. Um, a Signal Pest. I don't really have to worry about that guy. I could Slag Storm him, but again, don't really have to worry about him. All right, another Volcanic Strength. Um, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? I can hold on to this Volcanic Strength. Because if I, if I just put on my dude, that doesn't help. If he draws go for the throat, he'll just kill it. If he has to dispense justice, he'll just kill it. Um, and being 7 power and 9 power, I don't really think makes much of a difference. But we're pretty much at a standstill until he draws a flyer, in which case I'll have to slag storm, in which case we're back to a standstill. <laughs> um, but, uh, I mean, of course he could put the dark seal plate on the flyer, and then I'm kind of screwed. Um, there's no, I mean, if he swings in with both of them, then he's not in good shape. Mirror works. That'll be fun. I am so glad that he drew mirror works. At least he didn't draw worm coil. That would be crazy. Oh, rock slide. Imagine if I still had my rock slide this game. That'd be crazy. Um, do I play the volcanic strength on him? I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, let's just move over the dark steel axe, I suppose. Move that on over to him. I don't know why, but we're doing it. We're doing it, guys. Gonna do it. And I kind of want... I kind of want to deal one more... Like, get hit in one counter. Because then a slag storm won't kill him if I give him volcanic strength. So that would be pretty nice right now. But he drew a card. What you got? Ah! Oh, that is annoying. Hopefully he doesn't equip it with Dark Steel Axe. If he doesn't, then I still have a chance at this game. No, don't do it. Ah, oh, he's doing it. Oh my god, he didn't do it! He didn't do it. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. He didn't do it, guys. He didn't do it. Um. Alright. Let's do this, then. Slagstorm. Number two! Round two, bitches. Everyone go away. Except for these two guys. <laughs> and that guy gains, like, 400 counters if he managed to survive, but... Alas, he was stricken and slain and murdered. But that's really bad because that's my last piece of mass removal and I have done nothing in terms of figuring out a way to win this game other than drawing two Spire Barrages. But it looks like, I don't know, he's actually been playing everything second main phase this entire game so can't really call any judgments. There you go. That guy is good enough. Uh, it's just so long as I don't draw uh, another... Fault line. Oh my god, did he not pay for that? Oh, there you go. And he's gonna go look for some Lanzo. Lanzo Calriz. Um, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Ah, cerebral eruptions also in my graveyard. Everything that I need to win or need to survive another turn. Slag storm, slag storm, cerebral eruption is in my graveyard. That is land, and that was a very, very good game, sir. I commend you on your victory. Um, that Dark Seal plate is the reason why he is still in this game and why he won. I mean, if I had still had my Rock Slide Elemental from early on, he would have been way, way, way powerful. And then I actually would have stood a chance because I could have just swung in with both my guys. And if I had two and all he had was the uh, the Dark Seal plate Ethereum Sculptor, then he could have won uh, he could have done some. I could have done something about that. So that was definitely my fault, but it was still well played on his part. And I hope you guys enjoyed that game. Have a nice day. Bye.